Now we're going to answer some probability questions involving the normal distribution, but this time we're going to be using the TI-84 to find the probability of the given problem. So to start with, this particular problem involves light bulbs and the lifespan of light bulbs in this particular word problem. So the print of the package of 100 watt general electric soft white light bulbs says that these bulbs have an average lifespan of 730 hours. Assume that the lives of all such bulbs have a normal distribution with a mean of 730 hours and standard deviation of 52 hours. Find the probability that the mean of the life of random sample of 27 uh, light bulbs will be A, greater than 740 hours, B, less than 700 hours, and so on. So let's go ahead and answer problem letter A. And to uh, start working on this problem, let's um, write the proper notation of the probability of the mean lifespan of light bulbs represented by x that will be greater than 740 hours. So this is the probability that we are computing. And to illustrate this in a normal distribution, where in the middle is your mean or your mu. So according to the problem, mu is 730. And your standard deviation is 52 hours with a sample size of 27 light bulbs. So we're looking for the probability that the li average lifespan is going to exceed 740. If the mean is 730, 740 is somewhere here. And we need to find the probability that is going to be over 740. So in the normal curve, it's going to be the area of the region over here. So to use the calculator, it will be a lot easier and a lot faster than the Z table. You just need to know your syntax and how you use TI-84. So go to second bars, go to normal CDF, and in the normal CDF, it will ask you for the lower, the upper, the mean, and the standard deviation of your uh, the problem that you are solving. So in this case, the area is from 740 and over, so the minimum value is 740 with an upper value of, since this is a very big number, so it will be the positive infinity, and we can represent the positive infinity by E99. So this is the representation of big number in the TI-84. So our mean is 730 hours, and our standard deviation is 52. But this time we're using a sampling distribution and the sample space or the sample size is given in the problem. So we're going to divide it by the square root of the sample, which is 27. So this is now our uh, standard deviation for the sampling distribution that we have in the word problem. So by using the calculator, it will generate the approximated area under the curve or under the normal curve, which is 0.1588. So the area is 0.1588, which means if we're going to write it down in the context of the problem, the probability that the mean life of the bulbs right here will exceed 740 hours is approximately equal to 15.88%. And that's how quick you can find the value of the area or the area under the curve that we are looking for if we're going to be using TI-84. Now let's answer problem letter B. And in problem letter B, it's the same information, but this time we're trying to compute for the probability that the average lifespan of the light bulbs will be less than 700 hours. So the probability of x less than 700 hours. So in our standard normal curve, this will be 730, and 700 is probably somewhere here. And we need to find the region, or this region in our normal curve. So using our TI-84, second function, vars, normal CDF, our lower limit now is going to be negative infinity. 
So if we're going to use negative infinity, that means we're going to use negative second function comma, which is E, 99. And the upper value will now be 700 divided by the mean, which is 730. And the standard deviation will still be the same, 52 all over the square root of 27. So we're not going to change the mean and the standard deviation in our calculator because it's already here. We're just changing the lower and the upper value. And it's giving us point zero zero one four. So if we're going to write it down to the context of the problem, the lifespan of the light bulbs that is less than 700 is approximately equal at 14 or point 14 percent. So not even one percent is the probability that the average lifespan of the light bulbs will last less than 700 hours based on the information. Now for letter C, we are going to find the mean lifespan of this sampling distribution between 715 hours and 737 hours. So probability of x in between 715 and 737 hours. So in our illustration, this is our mean of 730, and 715 is somewhere here, and 737, let's say, is somewhere here. And we're going to find the area under the curve between these two values, where in mu is 730, Sigma is 52, and the sample size is still 27. So let's go ahead and compute for it. So in this case, normal CDF, our lower will be 715. Upper is 737. The mean and the standard deviation will not change. And it will give us a value of 0 0.6909. So point. So the area is 0 0.6909. So in our probability, in between 715 and 737, the lifespan is about 69%. So it's a lot easier using the calculator because the mean and the standard deviation is already plugged into the um, calculator. So all we need to do is to change the upper and the lower limit. Now for letter D, we need to find the probability that the mean life of a random sample of 27 light bulbs will be within five hours of the population mean. So five hours within the population means means plus or minus five hours from 730. So the probability that the mean lifespan will be in between minus 5 from 730, so we have 725, and plus 5 is 735 hours. So in our normal curve, this is the mu, and this will be 725 and 735. So this is the area we're computing. And using our calculator, second function vars, normal CDF, 725, 735, same mean and standard deviation. The area is 0 0.3826, or 7 if we want to be more technical. So the probability that the average lifespan is within five hours of the population mean is approximately equal to 38.27%. And that is how we use our TI-84 in computing for the area under the normal curve or the probability using a normal distribution.